Okay, we have here the Wii Bats Bat Review. Okay, these are some of the best and the crappiest bats on the market. Um, the best here would probably be the new 2011 Voodoo by Dan Rainey. It's just pretty freaking amazing. You know, we just have all 3.5 flags, thickness two and a half and a half, SC4 alloy. Look at all that double chase bonding engine. Makes it extra stiff handle for those power hitters. The Omaha TPX. I don't know if they make this anymore. Really good bat. Any so Omaha's good. Any Omaha. I got. I mean, they're a little, they're so underrated. Nobody really buys them because they they're not like the name. But they're actually really good. I got like I, I got one year. I got um, eleven doubles out of it. On the other hand, we have the Diablo. As you can see, we use it to hit walnuts. Because that's how bad it is. Would you get like one good hit off this? I got one double. That's it. And like and the four singles. And the bat died after that. And dented. So, yeah, it dented off the double. So if you're looking for a bat to buy, not this one. Only if you're a beginner. If you're a beginner, get the Diablo. Now, this is how it is a bat. Stealth comp. Two piece. All composite. IMX. This is the 2000, I believe. Minus 13. These are all minus 13s. Uh, really good bat. Took a maybe like a half year for me to break in because I don't really, I don't really go to batting practice that much. I just hit it with it in games. So took a little while to break in. Now on to. So those are those bats. And we have two big barrel bats. Okay, don't mind. We have the B1, the bomb combat. SL, 100% composite. Big combat. barrel. NTI technology, big barrel. Um, as you can see, it's very used. I had it for a year and a half and it just broke in. I don't know why the hell it took so long. Usually they say. Uh, what is it, 250 hits, but it took me so long. Minus 10, 32, 22. Very good bat. One of the best. I actually like it better than the B2. The B2 is actually the same thing, and this one's cheaper, so. Yeah. Okay, now the my other bat, the Triton. Another very underrated bat. Nobody really uses these bats, but they're absolutely amazing. Let me get around on This is a minus three. As you can see, minus three ounce. The BT zone bubble transfer. Double transition. It's a three piece design. The handle, the bubble transition area, and the barrel. All composite. Three times X three X composite. Amazing bat. If you get around on it just right, this ball will just go and go and go. We just got back from BP, and this. Tell me about this bat. You thought of this one when it hit the ball just right? Well, when it hit the ball, I didn't think that. I mean, because I never heard of it, but when he, he hit the ball, it did go pretty far. It just kept like. And it never stopped. It just kept going. What did you think of this one? It's just beastly. What did you think of this one from batting practice? It sounds like a wooden bat, but it whips it and f makes it fly pretty pretty far. What do you think of this bat? It sucks, but it's good for beginners. What do you think of this bat? It's good if you want to get like long range hitting, and it's also good for inside pitches. What do you think of the new 2011 video? The newest bat to the collection next to my trailer. I would recommend it and just because for I'd recommend it for power hitters because uh thick because it's thick, it's stiff and stiff handle for the power hitter. And it definitely brings the ball far 
if you give it enough force, and it is recommended. So what do you think of it from BP, how far the ball went? Um, I would say... The ball probably went 285 feet. Maybe a little farther. Hmm. Yeah. But... I know... Amazing. Yeah, I know that now that you've heard of all these bats, the Demarini Voodoo, the Louisville Slugger TPX Omaha, the Gay Demarini Diablo, Easton Stealth, Combat B1, and Louisville Slugger Triton. From all these bats, they're definitely recommended, and there's one bat that we don't have here, it's the CF4. But other than the CF4 and all these bats, these bats are pretty good, and they are all recommended. And By the way, this is cheap. about $900 worth of bats. 200 $109 for cheap and mm -hmm. $250, $300, $400. So, so, now you know how the prices of them are. But I got a really good deal on this. I got it for $250. So I got it for $150 worth. Yes. eBay, eBay my friends. Yes. Yeah. Or JustBats.com. I like JustBats.com because you can read up on the views. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. So these are all the bats. And, um, watch our recommended bats videos and the bats of the year. And get the inside scoop of all the good bats. So there you go.